You're sitting at a red light. The road is smooth, the engine sounds normal, but the whole car has a quiet tremble running through it. The steering wheel buzzes, the seat hums, the drink in the holder has a tiny ripple on the surface. Nothing looks broken, yet something feels wrong in your bones. That little shake at idle is your car quietly trying to tell you a story. Every engine wants to vibrate itself apart. You don't feel it because rubber mounts, sensors, and software are always hiding the chaos. When one piece in that chain gets tired, the column at a stoplight turns into a low, nervous shiver. To see how that happens, we need to zoom in on the first and most common place where the fight against vibration begins. It starts with the engine mounts, the parts that hold the engine in the car. The engine rocks every time a cylinder fires, so instead of bolting it solidly to the frame, make her sit it on rubber or fluid-filled mounts that absorb the motion. As heat, oil, and age break those mounts down, they harden or crack. Then every pulse from the engine travels straight into the cabin. You feel a strong shake in gear with your foot on the brake, maybe a dull thud when you shift from drive to reverse. People call it old car character, but weak mounts also make every other small problem feel bigger. And one of the first problems exposed by bad mounts usually lives inside the idle itself. At idle, your engine is doing careful balancing work. It has to feed just enough fuel and air to keep spinning without stalling. If the throttle body is dirty or the fuel injectors are partly clogged, those tiny doses stop being consistent. One cylinder might get a rich mix, the next a lean one. The engine stumbles, catches itself, and stumbles again. A basic cleaning of the intake and injectors can often restore a smooth idle, but when this roughness is ignored, it can quietly push the engine into a much harsher problem. That harsher problem is a misfire. A misfire is when a cylinder doesn't do its job on time because a spark plug is worn, a coil is weak, or wiring is damaged. Instead of a smooth rhythm, the engine skips a beat, and at idle, that missing beat feels like a sharp kick through the car. Put the transmission in gear and the shutter gets worse because the engine is now working harder with one or more cylinders not helping. Some cars flash a check engine light, others just shake for months with no clue beyond feel and sound. Keep driving like this and the extra unburned fuel can overheat the catalytic converter and turn a cheap spark plug job into a much bigger repair. And misfires are often just the loudest symptom of a quieter problem with how the engine breathes. Every engine is basically an air pump. If it can't breathe in and out smoothly, it starts to fight itself. A clogged air filter chokes off the air coming in, especially at low speeds and idle. On the other side, a blocked catalytic converter or muffler makes it hard for exhaust to escape. The engine still tries to hold its target idle speed, but it has to work harder, so vibration rises. Many drivers treat air filters and exhaust as separate from vibration, yet the more the engine struggles to move air, the more it shakes on its mounts. That struggle becomes even more obvious when the fuel mixture isn't quite right. Fuel and air have to show up in the right ratio at the right time. When sensors like the oxygen sensor or mass airflow sensor drift out of accuracy, the engine computer starts chasing bad data. It might add too much fuel or not enough, so the engine runs too rich, too lean, or swings between the two. At idle, this unstable mixture feels like a restlessness you can't quite describe. The car doesn't shake violently, but it never feels calm. Fill up on a questionable station and notice a rough idle right after, and dirty or contaminated fuel can create the same effect almost overnight. The computer will keep trying to correct, but if the sensors, fuel, or injectors are off for long enough, something deeper usually joins the party. That deeper issue is often a vacuum leak. Modern engines use a maze of hoses and seals to control how much unmetered air sneaks around the throttle body. When a hose cracks, a seal hardens, or a plastic fitting splits, extra air slips in without being measured. The computer thinks one amount of air is entering, but reality under the hood is different. Suddenly, the fuel calculations are wrong and the engine runs unevenly at idle. Sometimes you'll hear a faint hissing. Other times, the only clue is a roughness that gets worse when the engine is warm. Left alone, vacuum leaves can cause lean running, higher temperatures, and more strain on everything around them. And while the engine is fighting this invisible air, another source of vibration can be spinning happily right at the front of it. That source is the accessory belt system. The pulleys and belts that drive your alternator, power steering pump, and air conditioning compressor. If a belt is worn, out of alignment, or too loose, it can set up a steady buzz you feel even when the car is standing still. Turn the steering wheel at idle or switch on the AC and the vibration ramps up because those accessories suddenly need more power. 
Bearings inside the pulleys and accessories can also wear out and start to rumble, feeding vibrations straight into the cabin. It's easy to mistake this for an internal engine problem, but a quick belt and pulley check can sometimes erase a mysterious vibration in one visit. When that doesn't fix it, the next place to look is what connects the engine to the wheels. The way the engine's power reaches the road matters a lot at idle, especially in gear. In an automatic, the torque converter and internal clutches control how much load the engine feels while you're stopped with your foot on the brake. If the converter is failing or the clutches are worn and grabbing unevenly, the engine feels like it's constantly being nudged and released, and the vibration is much worse in drive than in neutral or park. In a manual, a worn clutch or dual-mass flywheel can cause a low, rumbling shake that changes as you press and release the pedal. These drivetrain issues are easy to ignore because the car still moves fine at speed, but they're another way a simple idle shake can be the first sign of a much larger bill waiting in the future. Under all of this, there's one more quiet cause that almost every owner is guilty of, stacked neglect. No single part is catastrophically bad, but everything is a little tired. The spark plugs are overdue, the air filter is filthy, the mounts are aged, the fuel is whatever was cheapest, the belts squeak on cold mornings, and the last warning light was covered instead of checked. Each issue adds a tiny amount of roughness, and together they turn a once smooth car into one that always feels slightly annoyed when it's not moving. That constant shake also loosens connectors, fatigues brackets, and slowly turns small problems into big ones. And at that point, one question decides what happens next. Do you listen early or wait for something to break loudly? A car almost never fails without whispering first. A new tremor at a stoplight? A change when you turn the AC on, a shake that appears only in gear, or an idle that feels a bit more restless than before, all of these are early messages. Pay attention and fix them while they're small, and you quietly add years to the life of the vehicle. Ignore them and you'll usually meet them again later, in the form of a tow truck and a bill you weren't ready for. That strange vibration at idle isn't just a random quirk, it's your car giving you a preview of its future, and you get to choose whether that future stays smooth or shakes itself apart piece by piece.